whether is it during our consultation or whether is it during the training is the startup cost to create a cafe, to build a cafe, to start a coffee shop. Now, people are generally concerned when they want to go into the coffee shop business, how much does it cost them? But there are so many variables and it's all different. It's different even in a country such as Singapore. Whether is it in Aukang to set up a cafe or whether is it in Shenton Way, it differs greatly because of the rent, the, abil the availability of manpower, the variable, even the logistic cost, right? And more so, it differs from country to country. Singapore versus starting up a cafe in Philippines or set up, setting up a cafe in India, for instance, it's all different. So we're mulling over it. So what do we do? Do we create articles after articles and detail out what are the costs, what are the things to look out for in every place? Or can we even think of setting up a calculator? And that's what we did. So we created a cafe startup cost calculator. So in sh shortly, I will show you how to use it and I hope you find it useful. This gives you an estimate. Even before your foray into setting up cafes, you have a base idea on the cost structure so you can actually run it through so that you know how much you need the startup cost, the six-month operation cost, and even what is the break-even margin that you need, how many cups of coffee you need to sell in order to break even. I hope you'll find it useful. Let's go in and see how we're going to use it. The whole idea of this calculator is to find out how much we need to start up a cafe. So it includes the renovation, the deposit and so on and so forth. And of course, we also want to find out how much operating cash we need for six months. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good length of time, assuming that we don't have business or we still try to crank our brain, how to survive for so six months. And of course, the last thing is how many cups of coffee we need to sell, how much we need to sell in order to generate a profit, in order to sustain and start and keep the business running. So let's look at the, 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 the many variables that we need to put into the calculator. So we just press start. The first thing is, of course, how much you need to, you, you're willing to pay for your monthly renter. It affects everything, right from the startup all the way to your operating cash. Then that's the reason in another article we mentioned that uh, why we want to start a cloud kitchen simply because it's lower rental. And this differs from location to location. Even in a place in Singapore, various locations will attract different renter and of course more so different countries. To start up a cafe in India, obviously the cost, the renter is very different from Philippines and very different from Singapore or Malaysia. So here we put 1,000. No. Renovation, interior design, these are things that a lot of people are focusing a lot on the thematic, the feel of your cafes. Um, we want to attract people so that it's Instagrammable, so you pay a little bit more money, you pay a little bit less money, you want to keep it simple, depending on your budget. And this has everything to do with your startup costs. So here we just put a base figure, 20,000. You will need this. You will need your Frankie machine, you will need your Lama Zoko, your Mazer grinder. And if you have a roaster or you need a Mary Chef or Combi oven. Now, these are the, the fridge, the chiller, all this will be inside. So this will be, again, a bulk of your startup cost. Now, there are places where they offer free rent, free for loan. For example, the coffee machine. If you go to the link below, we have some suggestion. You can get your free on loan coffee machines as well. In this case, I just put 10000 In most cases, it's severely, severely not enough. 10,000, but uh, less for demonstration, we put it at 10,000. I believe this is a definite unless you own the place. Otherwise, the landlord is going to give to get some deposit from you. So, for most cases, it will be two extra month. In very rare cases, it's one extra month. So, we're just going to put two extra month, and this is going to again ease up into your operating sorry, your startup expenses. We only some. Colleagues, we need some employees to run the cafe. How many staff do you need? Right, so in this case, we put two. And how much are we going to pay them? It differs again from places to places. In this case, we put 1,000. So how much are we, how, how many things are we going to buy? How much is it called, going to cost us? The coffee beans, the food, the condiments, even the packaging. Utilities, general expenses, we pay our insurance, we pay the 
the, the pest fumigation, the food hygiene audit, all this, right? So in this case, I just put a base value of 500. Of course, again, severely not enough. Now, the last few questions, how many cups do we imagine us selling? So this is very important. So you want to, you want to input a figure so you know whether will you be able to break even. So I say, let's say, for example, I will sell 200 cups, right? Over a span of 12 hours, I think that's quite reasonable. Now, in this case, how much we want to charge? I will, I will, I will roughly charge the base figure of about $5 for a long black Americano. Right, and then when we press submit, it will generate... For my cafe, what is the figure that I'm looking at? 36,000, right? That, that's, a, that's a value that I need to set up, do random and everything. Now, the six-month operating cash flow is the money I will need in case I really, really don't have sales to run for six months at the employee strength that I have. However, the good news is if I were to sell 200 cups, right, at $5 per cup, and I sell every day per month, that's how much I will make. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, right? Okay. I hope I've demonstrated to you how, how to use this calculator. I hope you find it useful. Do drop me a comment, send us an email if you find it useful. Thank you very much for tuning in. Till the next video then.